here this lift. Mr. President, it's something wrong with that picture. 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 If Nick Romney, his name Nick Romney, Michael Williams' name is, used to run for president, flip flop back and forth. If it didn't flip flop back and forth, I would have heard that kind of Here we are trying to pass a budget. Half of my head I hate to repeat myself. And they sat here and listened to it. And they're concerned about the citizen here in Elizabeth. But as soon as we pass the budget, we pass it. And go out of the generators and put them in their place and they are war, a particular war. And if you're the first one to stick the chest out, you throw away. They did so much. I didn't go where they want to go. That's their prerogative. They use that to so criticize it. But here we are, just got to get it by a devastated storm in our own city. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Yes, Mr. President. And just to answer the comments in the last time. Not all the time people have to agree in how we close, especially in a situation that we discussed this evening. We are planning for the future. We definitely we do not expect another storm to arrive uh, next week or next month. They said that this type of a storm that Sandy was will happen every 100 years. I might be the one. You don't know that, Mr. Council. I think not as about you, Mr. Councilman. Uh, you can look at the budget, see whatever you like to reduce, maybe eliminate something that you didn't get a chance to review your budget, and then you can put the generators, you can work that way. You're entitled to vote the way you want to vote, I'm entitled to vote the way I have to vote. Guess what? I had a black watch meeting on my board, and I mentioned, I said, you know, our tax might go up a little bit. What do you mean a little bit? A couple hundred dollars, maybe even less than that. How do you expect me to vote? They told me to vote now, and that's why I'm voting now. Listen to my people. Now, in many of the previous years, I took a lot of criticism to vote in favor of the budget. So, your priority is to vote yes. I vote no because I like to listen to the people that I met in my work. Just the same thing. You choose one president, somebody else choose another president. It's a choice. That's what's so great about America, Mr. Council. I have nothing against you. If I give you my words, I'm going to vote for you, and you give me words, you're going to vote for me, and then you don't vote. Guess what? What kind of words do you have? Mr. President, the way I vote, I stand very strongly. Enough is enough. My texts are going up every year. And the senior citizen, Elizabeth is made up of a lot of senior citizens. That's enough. From no one, this country will never vote in favor of a budget. If I see an increase. So think about it, Councilman. Thank you. Any other comments? Mr. President, Councilman Snow. I personally uh, just want you to know, Councilman, I forgive you for attacking me and my colleague, pretty much assuming or stating the reasons why I vote um, against the budget. I believe that the residents of the fourth ward in the city. Many other people within the city of Elizabeth, they know my heart, they know my desires, they know that I really care about them. Uh, when you accuse me or my colleague uh, for not caring about the citizens of the city of Elizabeth, I take that very offensively. Uh, but personally, I forgive you. I'm not going to hold that against you. You're entitled to say whatever you choose. But I know that the word of the Lord, just like my colleague said, I'm really concerned about the taxes in the city. And usually when it comes to this, I also, you know, everyone's entitled to the decision and the vote. Um, so usually it's very respectfully done. Whatever we decide, that's where it stays. Um, but today I do have to speak just because of what you said. The reason I vote against the budget is because of taxes. I feel so the burden of taxes on the residents of the city of Elizabeth is very heavy. People are losing their homes. A lot of people have left the city. There's a lot of struggle that occurs. If I would see a specific line item on generators, you better believe I would be the first person to vote for that and to be in support of that. Uh, but I'll leave that. I'm not here to make this into any 
residents that I found pretty much that like them to be here is important in, in the way that they feel so it's necessary. Um, so those, those are my comments. And I personally am saddened um, if someone would choose to use this moment um, to try to make a feel, you know, try to attack the colleagues. So thank you. Any other comments? Yes. Mr. President, certainly, uh, certainly those of us who have uh, gotten to know uh, our colleagues over the years uh, would not argue that they do not care. I certainly would not, would not, would never say that about uh, my colleagues on the right or uh, the council on the sixth board. I would never say that. I, I have witnessed firsthand, for example, uh, Councilman uh, is uh, concerned for his residents. But, but I don't think that's, that's the point. And, 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 and I agree that people should not be attacked for the way they go. Uh, I have experienced that in the past, and I don't like it either. But I think, uh, I think it's a bigger picture. I think we have to, when we consider the budget, which is one of the most important things that we vote upon, I think it's important to realize that. You know, we have an opportunity uh, to make recommendations, uh, to make cuts, to reduce this, to reduce that. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, I was here those recommendations from my colleagues who are against the budget year after year. So that's the only point that I would make. Of course, they have a right to vote. No, but I would, I would be more encouraged if I heard recommendations, specific recommendations, as to where we should cut the budget. I don't hear that. And the point I think that the um, uh, council from the fifth board was making um, is it, a big point. In other words, in order for us to be able to um, provide certain services, whether it be police or fire or generators, as uh, the council has suggested, we need to appropriate funds. We need to appropriate funds. And if we say no to the budget, well, where does the budget come from? So that's the only part that, that I that I that I would argue strongly. And I would also uh, remind my colleagues that uh, by statute in New Jersey, we don't have to look at what we in favor of every budget that's presented by the administration, but we must adopt the budget. And the attorney can correct me if I'm wrong, we must adopt the budget. The budget. So if we must do that by a certain time, if we will agree with it, we have ample opportunities to make recommendations and to try to persuade the rest of the members of the city council uh, that those recommendations are the right and we should listen to them. So, so I think it's a big picture. Money is not to be appropriated in order for us to provide services. If we want to know and we provide no, no recommendations, then it doesn't make any sense. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, any council that hasn't had I'm sorry, Mr. President. Um, I want to uh, agree with Council Request that um, we are duly elected to legislate, appropriate, and investigate matters for the city. And in appropriating funds, we have to do that through a budget. Um, it's up to us, once the administration gives us the budget, to go through it. If we need to make recommendations or making changes, we should do that. We should really take um, the budget process um, as a serious tool to do the work that we've been elected to do. Um, on the same hand, um, I don't think we should admonish one another in public when we vote our conscience. Um, that's our God-given right to serve the people that elected us. So, you know, it's a big picture that we're looking at. Yes, we should look into the budget, but no one should ever have to admonish another council person for the way they voted, especially in public. Um, I think this body has much more character than that, and um, I think we should con continue to, to conduct ourselves um, in a manner that um, high character um, or we, you know, went out. So, um, just as a comment, um, our jobs are to legislate appropriate funds and to investigate issues and matters that pertain to the city. And we really should take the budget process seriously. 
we should go talk to our CFO and see um, if changes can be made. Um, and if it's simply a matter of raising taxes, then there's really nothing can be done. If that's the will of the people in their wards, then that's the will that they follow. So that's all I have to say, Mr. President. Thank you. Councilman, any other comments? Councilman that have not commented? Okay. Seeing none, roll call. Councilwoman Perkins-Gusty. Aye.